<laughs> Hello. Oh, hi, Mr. White. The federal government is scrapping unfair dismissal laws for 3.6 million workers. Ah, uh, no, sorry, I can't. I'm rostered on for tomorrow night's shift. So if you think that you and your family are safe... But who's going to look after my kids? Think again. You can't sack me. Really? Mum? Can the you federal can government's new me? industrial relations laws benefit business but can harm Australian workers and their families. He said he was going to sack me if I didn't come in. The Howard government says the IR laws won't affect you. Unless, of course, you've lost your unfair dismissal rights. You're given an individual contract. You're going for your first job. Your employer's cutting costs or you're changing jobs. The new IR laws have made millions of working families sitting ducks. With prices rising, John Howard's IR laws are starting to bite. You better read this. It's my new workplace agreement. So what do we get? 1% extra a year for three years. I've lost my penalty rates and I'm on the weekend roster now. Can they do that? They can now. What will the IAR laws cost your family? So you have to work weekends for no extra pay? Used to be you work hard, you get ahead. Another record profit. What's the financial outlook? With the new IAR laws, we can cut labour costs by 10%. What's the legal position? Using individual contracts, we can scrap penalty rates, overtime pay, shift allowances, even public holiday rates. But is that fair? It's beside the point. It's the law and we look after our shareholders first. OK, next item. Executive bonuses. As nurses, we're trained to look after patients, not negotiate individual contracts. Have a quick listen to your chest again. Nursing isn't about the money, but if the IR laws take away our penalty rates, well, everyone has a breaking point. How can I stay with that fair working conditions? 